Hey, Foundations families. Sorry, my, my phone is shaking. I just touched it and I didn't th know it was going to shake. Happy week 16. It's been going great. This day was a great day. Our science experiments stretch and spurt. Fantastic. They got to see videos of a volcano and specifically talking about the magma when it's inside the earth liquid, wet, hot, and then magma when it becomes lava when it reaches the surface, how those two things are the same. Uh, and then um, stretch, we use the balloon to, um, we drew a picture on the balloon before it was deflated, before it was inflated, and then the kids inflated the balloon to see how with tension the picture that they drew on the balloon stretched and then when the balloon was deflated again, which we actually didn't do because I had them tie, I had them tie their balloons up prematurely. But just in case you want to do this again at home, you you in, you draw the picture, inflate the balloon. You see how the picture stretches after observing what the picture looks like when the balloon is has not been blown up the first time. So you see how it stretches from the tension, and then you reduce, you deflate the balloon again, and you see. The original picture again and we're still talking about how um, the earth's how internally you know rocks uh, take the pressure of heat until they get to the point that they can no longer handle it again and actually someone videotaped me blowing the balloon up to uh, simulate the pressure that is to the max and I think they got the pop. I think one of the parents got me popping the balloon, or maybe both parents in my class were able to get a video of the balloon being blown up to its uh, max and then taking it no more, and the result was that big bang. So that was kind of cool. Everybody loved it. The kids were like, ah! It was great. Your boys were thrilled. And thank you, moms, who took that video. I appreciate it. I hope we upload it on the Facebook page. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about review. We're going to start with math. The area of a rectangle, we use the song that I sing a cappella on my phone, which I'm recording on. The area of a rectangle equals length times width. These are the signs I used. The area of a rectangle equals length times width. I did length because I was able to get a longer span. As I moved my arm, I stepped across the room. The area of a rectangle equals length times width, and that's width, meaning this part, the shorter span. The area of a rectangle equals length times width, and that's what we did. Okay, Latin. For Latin, I love how, you know, the noun cases, the declensions, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, how they repeat over the series of weeks. We're still in first declensions. I love using this. A CC mom created this. I'm so grateful for her. Those icons give me so much more information. I'm learning the Latin declension so much easier because of the icons. And of course, we sang the CC song with that. And I literally held this in front of them. Although it's in the board, on the board, I held this and I would touch each icon so that they could see how the sound is produced rather than looking at the word, you know, and we're thinking in English. So anyway, that's what we did using the CC Latin song. Class, uh, let's see, what are, this is science, what are four kinds of volcanoes? I found a great set of signs, hand motions on YouTube. Uh, the four kinds, the four kinds of volcano are, of volcanoes are active, intermittent, dormant, and extinct. For active, I was standing, but basically I did this, kind of like a bloom. If you're thinking in ASL, it's kind of like a bloom. So that's active. Intermittent, dormant, the sign for sleep as in going to bed, and then extinct. And with each move, I was standing. For active, I stood tall. For intermittent, I, 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 I did a little squat, not a lot. And then for dormant, I squatted even more. And then for extinct, I pretty much fully squatted and kind of graduated down with each move. Um... Oh, there is a CC song. I'm going to have to post the song. I'll send you a link to the song because 
What are the four kinds of volcanoes? Four kinds of volcanoes are active, intermittent, dormant, and extinct. Um, you could probably come up with your own jingle too, but it's on my phone and that's what I'm recording on, so forgive me for that. Helping verbs. We've decided we're going to do the helping verbs at the end of the year. We're going to do two pieces, two songs. Helping verbs is one. And of course, we're going to use the helping verb song. And it goes like this. Helping verbs, helping verb, helps another verb assert action. And I run in place. Action, being, and I put my thumbs pointing to me as in a human being, being, and then or existence. That's when you just are, are kind of reaching your palms up out to everything else, everything in existence. Helping verbs make lots of sense. And then the second part of the verb, the second part of the song goes, helping verb, do, does, did, has, have, had. Boom. That is the second and the third week. So starting with week, three weeks ago was the helping verb song. That's the definition. Two weeks ago was the first part, do, does, did, just this week, uh, was, uh, has, have, had. So here's how I did do, does, did. Do, kind of a C-shape hand, a curved hand. You just scoop it under. Do, and then does, oh no, do, oh praise God, hang on, let me find it. Okay. Forgive me, I should have had this ready already, which I did, but I forgot the sign for the do. Do, does, did. I know do because that's an ASL sign. All right, 15, week 15. Do. Oh, do, does, did. This is an ASL sign for do. That's how you say do, to do something. Do, and then this is actually the sign process. Does, as in in process. And then did is thumbs up. So do, does, did. And then for week 16, which we are in, has, like you're holding something in the palm of your both hands, has, and then have is the ASL sign for have. You just literally press your the tips of your four fingers into each right near each armpit. Have, has, uh, I'm sorry, yes, had, Finish, meaning I don't have it anymore. Finish, done. That's an ASL sign that means done, but it's, okay. Has, have, had. Let's start again with the song. Helping verb, helping verb, helps another verb assert action, being, or existence. Helping verbs make lots of sense. Helping verb, do, does, did, has, have had and then we'll go on to the next weeks i will put a video up with the entire song hopefully today but i just wanted to make sure you had at least the current and the previous week starting from the beginning of the helping verb uh song okay now timeline we did the timeline we repeated it we said it fast we sing it with the song we did it slow we i had one student teach the class the timeline it was good I think it was the timeline that he did. But anyway, yeah, we just did that. I didn't even get to drop any cards. Okay, history. Tell me about the civilizations of Mesoamerica. There was a, this used the CC uh, approved song, CC generated song. Uh, three of the advanced civilizations in Mesoamerica from 1200 BC to AD 1500 were the Omex. I made an O over my head, and these came from another CC mom. Thank you for your expertise, CC mom. Omex. Omex Mayans, that's where, you, like an M, you kind of put the middle of your, your fingertips right on the top of your head. Omex Mayan, Mayans, and the Aztecs, an A. Now, these are really tall. My O is really here, but I'm trying to keep it on screen since I'm sitting low. So it's Omex Mayans and the Aztecs. Omex Mayans and the Aztecs. Three of the advanced civilizations of Mesoamerica. That comes from the timeline song. 
from 1200 BC to AD 1500 were the Olmecs, Mayans, and the Aztecs. Olmecs, Mayans, and the Aztecs. Three advanced, three of the advanced civilizations of Mesoamerica. From 1200 BC to AD 1500 were the Olmecs, Mayans, and the Aztecs. Olmecs, Mayans, and the Aztecs. And then it goes on saying that last part over and over again until it ends. Okay. African waters. We talked about these because uh, we. I did show me, tell me. I also gave them some information. The Congo being the deepest of uh, the rivers in the world, also known as Zaire, that it goes up and down in Central Africa, kind of going down through South Africa, but it, uh, it, it, it actually takes the pattern of up and down, so it's like an upside, upside down U. And then there was Lake Victoria, which is at the base of, um, of the Nile River, Lake Victoria. I hear something. Must be my daughter. Lake Victoria. And you can see the body of, you can see the lake where it is in the, um, on the map. Kind of a little, it's east. Oh, the fireplace went off. Forgive me. I just, I'm, when I hear something, I don't know what's going on. I need to identify what it is. My fireplace went off uh, because it's got a thermostat. And it was, it actually clicks and ticks and makes like it, it has, um, it gets out the kinks when it goes off, and then when it comes on, it does it again. But anyway, sorry about that. So that's Lake Victoria. Zambezi River in Mozambique. It actually is in the um, southern part of Africa, and it ends. it's in Zambezi, in Mozambique. So it goes from, I think it goes, oh yeah, it's in, in Mozambique. Boom. And then the Orange River goes left to right in South Africa. It is at the, it's in the southern part of Africa. It goes east to west in the southern part of Africa. So we touched them. We did, um, we did, um, I can't, it's like a Simon says, using the one hand, they touch one, they put the thumb on one, index one on one, pinky on one, tall man on one, I ex or ring finger, and uh, it hurts them, and they love it. So that's what we did. <laughs> Okay, let's see what else. I think that is it. I think that is it. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, great. Well, that is it. And uh, I'm excited. Hope you guys have a great rest of the week. Uh, be blessed. And uh, I'll see you all on Monday. Bye. Shalom, shalom. <laughs>